Hey guys, Dr. Shepard here. So people often ask me whether vitamins and supplements can be helpful for anxiety. And the short answer is maybe, but we need more research. So let me tell you a couple of the things I think you need to know. First, these supplements are not FDA regulated, so you don't actually know what you're getting when you're taking a supplement. So that being said, make sure you're buying it from a reputable brand. And just because these are vitamins or herbal supplements does not mean that they are free from any side effects and they can potentially interact with other medicines. So it's super important to talk with your doc before starting anything like this. So a bunch of different herbal supplements have been studied for anxiety, but only two of them have shown any benefit. And these studies weren't that great and the evidence is relatively weak. So these two supplements are kava kava and chamomile. Kava kava can actually cause serious liver problems in rare cases, and chamomile has been associated with allergic reactions and can also thin the blood. In my opinion, the risks generally outweigh the benefits, so I don't recommend them. Hey, Dr. Shepard here, part two on vitamins and supplements for anxiety. So we talked a little bit about herbal supplements and how there are only two, kava kava and chamomile, that have shown any benefit in clinical trials, but these are associated with some potentially serious side effects. And given that the evidence for benefit is relatively weak, I don't generally recommend them to my patients. There is more evidence for vitamins as being helpful, and specifically vitamins like zinc, magnesium, the B vitamins, especially B6, folate, and B12. Antioxidant vitamins, so A, C, and E, have been shown in some studies to be helpful. Vitamin D, also helpful, and omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acids can also be helpful. So super important to note that in these studies where people benefited from these vitamins and minerals, they were generally deficient in them to begin with. So you really just need to be getting the daily recommended amount. And generally, I recommend that my patients just eat a varied diet, maybe take a multivitamin, but don't layer on a bunch of vitamins because that can actually cause side effects. 